are going to move my bus over to the campground. What's up guys? This beast hasn't moved since I brought it here and parked it. So I'm a little nervous if she's gonna make it or not. And let me show you what it looks like on the inside. It's a freaking mess. Everything's kind of moldy from it just sitting here and all the rain coming in and whatnot. But this is what it looks like. <laughs> oh my God. <laughs> What a nightmare. This is why I just gave up. I have all these rust issues. Just as this is the major part right here, but Donnie had some plans for that. So I'm gonna just try to get this thing secure so I don't lose anything on the road. Give her a crank. You fire right up, that's a good sign. So I got everything covered up as much as I could, except we have a gaping hole right here. I'm nervous. Thinking maybe you should tie this door shut because we took the little arm off of it and it could possibly fly open. So Oh, he thinks it's good? He thinks it's good. All right. Is that even going in here? Here we go. Get this flipping pig on the road. Bit. I covered it up as much as possible back there. What makes a Wawa club? Look at the street lights. We got about one working light each direction. Either way, I knew it. What are we gonna attach it to? 
my armrest here. <laughs> Or the bottom of the um thing, the bottom of the seat. No, actually, this is your best thing. All right, so we got this thing all Jerry rigged up. No offense to Jerry, you have some really great ideas. All right, guys, so we are back in the races. I'm just gonna just tie this up a little bit more. Go. Well, I tell you what, this has been one long, hot drive so far. There is no AC in this pig, and it is about, it's in the 90s today, in October. It's almost November here. And it's so fucking loud. If you ever wondered what it was like to go through a hurricane, this is kind of what it sounds like. It's me. New day. I didn't finish filming when I got back here just because it was really windy and it started to rain a little bit and I was just exhausted. So, um, yeah. What I want to ask you guys is if you can help me out with giving me some ideas on what I could do with this situation. Um, you know, I'll put a, an I card up in the corner of where we left off the last time when we came to this ordeal that I'm in right now with the rust and in this beam support beam at the bottom and <clears throat> uh, now I know I have more subscribers than I did back then I think I was only at a thousand subscribers when that video came out and now I'm just over 4,000 subscribers so with that that means I have a lot more eyes and ears that could possibly be helping me out with what I could do. So if you guys have any information or any help on uh, what I could do besides welding, I know that is the best case scenario and what I should probably should do for the integrity of the bus, but this isn't gonna be a lifelong thing that I have. This is gonna be, you know, maybe a year or two of enjoying and moving on to the next adventure. Um, so yes, I want to do it to where it's safe, but I don't want to spend an arm and a leg either because I know that welding work is very expensive and that's not something I can do personally myself, nor do I have the equipment to do that, nor do I want to purchase the equipment for something that I'm only most likely going to use once in my lifetime. Um, <clears throat> now if you go back and watch the other video, you can see what Donnie and I's plan were at that time with how we were going to rectify the issue. Let me know if you think that's a good idea, if it'll work or not. So yeah, I hope you guys have an amazing day wherever you are and whatever you are doing. And I will see you guys on the next one. Bye.